<laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. He managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time, it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then. Hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano. And he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's got to be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. They're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. Tired of getting sand kicked in your face. Got to do calisthenics three times a week. Keep my heart rate up. You got blood on your shirt. Oh, ah, uh, cut myself shaving. There's something that you need to hear. 
Alvarez surfaced. Intercepted this call a little while ago. I don't understand a word of that. You mind translating? <laughs> Basically, you scared the shit out of Alvarez. He's ready to hightail it back to Cuba. Wants his dear Uncle Zaraga to come rescue him. And what did Zaraga say? He told him to meet him at the lighthouse on the southern edge of the bayou. He'd send a boat to pick him up. I'm guessing that was a lie. <laughs> Zaraga was a police officer back in Havana when Batista was still running the country. He also provided security for Sal's casinos. The two of them go way back. As soon as Zaraga hung up the phone, he called Sal and told him where he could find his nephew. Which means I need to get down there before Marcano's men. Sal's not gonna fuck around when it comes to Alvarez, so make sure your shit's squared away. I got a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke. to this state first elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned him down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is gonna do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. <laughs> 